This is here, Bust Unboxing, and we are back in the house to talk about Tyson Fury and him possibly facing AJ down the road, uh, possibly at the end of the year. Now, all right, AJ is saying that he's willing to fight Tyson Fury next, but that's probably not going to happen. More than likely, he'll wind up fighting uh, Kubrat Pulev sometime at the beginning of the summer, I think around June. Um, now, Eddie Hearn has come out and said already that the fight is pretty much a done deal. So, uh, like I said, more than likely we'll be seeing Kubrat Pulev, Pulev excuse me, and AJ probably around June. As for Tyson Fury, it's not quite clear what we'll be seeing next with him. Deontay Wilder could uh, obviously option to um, to fight for the third time sometime, maybe the summer or or later on this year. So it's it's kind of up in the air now. Um, Tyson Fury's father, Big John Fury, has come out and said that AJ needs to stay as far away from Tyson Fury as possible, unless it's just worth his while. He doesn't. He he did say he believes AJ is a nice guy. He's you know he's good looking, but he believes that his style is all wrong for Tyson and. and don't believe he has the heart for it to be honest with you and um he might have a point my question is how would aj attack fury and the reason why that's to me that's such a big question is because aj has shown has shown different styles that he can bring to the ring clearly you know he's a guy that likes to use his jab and sort of push his guy backwards and you know take him apart some, I don't want to say slowly because a lot of times the guys, after being jabbed and straight right to death and what other punches he decided to throw at the guys, normally they wouldn't last that long. So he sort of has the problem Wilder had or has because AJ gets a lot of his opponents out of the ring or knock them out so early, he he might have not honed in his craft the way he probably supposed to even though I do think technical wise AJ is further along than Wilder is but if he goes in there and try to box Fury like um, like Klitschko did he will get schooled it'll, it'll be a mirror image fight of what we saw when Tyson Fury fought Vladimir Klitschko I totally believe that now if AJ tries to take the fight to Fury. That might be interesting. I think that's the best way he can go. But if he tries to fight him the way he did John, I mean, excuse me, Andy Ruiz, it. it but now, now, that might be a little more interesting because now we saw Fury come forward. And see, that's another thing. And so you got to excuse me because I'm getting a little excited about thinking about the fight but that's another thing because you know people say styles make fights I tend to believe game plans win fights because you might expect somebody to come in with one style and they bring another one it could it could totally throw things off for you and I, I definitely believe that um that might have been what happened to Wilder more than anything I believe they thought yes he's gonna put on some weight yes He's going to try to do this, that, and the third. But once I crack him a couple times, that'll end and he'll get to running around the ring like he did in the first fight. And that never happened. Now, with with Fury showing that he can come forward and use more power, we could actually see AJ fight more off the back foot and Fury come forward. And AJ did have some success against Ruiz in that situation. So that, that could be interesting if those are the styles that are brought to the table on that particular night. Because like I said, game plans, game plans can change everything. And when you have people that can bring multiple styles to the table, you, you really don't know what you get. So like I said, styles do make fights, but game plans win fights. And it will be interesting to see who brings what to the table when AJ and Fury eventually does fight. I'll be honest, I like to see Fury come forward. I think that's a more intimidating style. When you're fighting off your back foot and just boxing, you know, some of these heavyweights will feel like, well, hold up. 
you know, especially he's if he's not sitting down on his punches. He's not intimidating that way. And you're thinking, okay, maybe I can just catch him or possibly outbox him. But when you're talking about a 6'9", uh, 19 stone brute coming at you with accurate punches and systematically breaking you down, that's a whole nother animal. And um, like Big John Fury said, you know, Fury will come in for AJ and, and basically keep coming and try to and try to take him apart. So who knows? Um that's pretty much all I got. This is Hell Bustin' Boxing Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what what type of game plan do you think AJ should bring to the table if he does fight Fury and vice versa. Should Fury dance around and try to outbox him? Or should he come forward and try to maul him like he did Wilder? And on the other hand, should AJ try to box him off the back foot and use more movement? Or should he come forward with more and try to break Fury down? Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. This is here. Bustin' Boxes on Fight Doctor. I am out.